Hello friends, welcome to Intellect Medicos, learning made easy. If you haven't subscribed till yet, do subscribe our channel to get the updates about my new videos. So let's start. Today we will discuss about hyponatremia. As we all know, normal serum sodium is 135 to 145 milli equivalents per liter. So hyponatremia is serum sodium less than 135 milli equivalents per liter. It can be categorized into mild hyponatremia that is 130 to 134 moderate hyponatremia that is 120 to 130 and severe hyponatremia that is one, less than 120 milliequivalents per liter. Coming on to signs and symptoms. As in hyponatremia, sodium is less. So it can be remembered by a mnemonic salt loss or you can keep this picture in mind. As I have already discussed in my previous videos that whenever you make a mnemonic, do try to relate it with a picture or a story so that it remains in your memory for longer time. So back to mnemonic, where S is for stupor or coma, A for anorexia, nausea and vomiting, L for lethargy, T for decreased tendon reflexes, L for weakness of limb muscles, O for orthostatic hypertension, S for seizures or headache, and other S for stomach cramps. Next is causes of hyponatremia. The flowchart of causes is very important and is very extensive. So it becomes very difficult to retain all the causes. Today we will learn this in a form of interesting story. First, we have to assess osmolality, which can be categorized into low, normal and high. Low osmolality is further categorized on the basis of volume status into hypovolemia, euvolemia and hypervolemia. In hypovolemia, if urinary sodium is more than 20 milliequivalents per litre, remember the causes by a mnemonic MED DOCS, where MED stands for mineralocorticoid deficiency, D for diuretics, O for osmotic diuresis, CS for cerebral salt wasting. Whereas, if urinary sodium is less than 20 milliequivalents per litre, mnemonic is BED, where B for burns, E for extrarenal losses like vomiting, and D for diarrhea. Now, if, if there is euvolemia and urinary sodium is more than 20 milliequivalents per litre, Remember with a mnemonic, good dish, where good is for glucocorticoid deficiency, D for drugs, I for syndrome of inappropriate ADH, that is SIADH, S for stress and post-surgery, H for hypothyroidism. And if there is hypervolemia and urinary sodium is more than 20, it is due to acute or chronic renal failure. Whereas, if urinary sodium is less than 20, remember with a mnemonic, Loknayak Hospital, where L for liver cirrhosis, N for nephrotic syndrome, H for heart failure. Now remember this whole uh, flowchart with a story that medical doctors go to bed after having good dish at Loknayak Hospital. By the way, this is not the case as I did my MD from Loknayak Hospital itself. This is just a mnemonic, so don't take it personal. As we have discussed the causes for low osmolality, now if the osmolality is normal, Remember with the alphabet L in normal. So the cause is hyperlipidemia. And if osmolality comes out to be high, remember G in high for hyperglycemia. Maximum is other synonym for high, so you can remember it for mannitol. Now comes the treatment part. Mnemonic is what we did to evaluate hyponatremia. That is first decide volume. This is the mnemonic. With first, you have to do fluid management. This is the most important step in management. In asymptomatic cases, isotonic saline for resolution of hypovolemia, whereas fluid restriction should be done in euvolemic and hypovolemic states. In symptomatic cases, hypertonic saline, that is 3% saline should be used, can add furosemide in euvolemia and hypovolemia. The rate of correction should be less than 0.5 milliequivalents per liter. This is the most important thing and most frequently asked question. If the correction is does, uh, done fast, it can cause central pontyl myelinosis. Decide in mnemonic stands for demeclocycline, which is also the drug of choice for SIADH. This is also the most frequently asked question. Volume stands for vasopressin antagonist like tolvaptan, conivaptan, which are used in euvolemic and hypervolemic state. This is all about hyponatremia. So guys, if you like the content and information, do like, share and subscribe our channel and do leave a comment regarding the next topic 
you would like me to take thank you guys